Hello and welcome to this light bite no frills after effects tutorial on how to create a simple light wrap. Well you obviously need your two items, you need your background footage, what you are going to comp your element against and you need the elements that you're going to add a light wrap to. The light wrap is effectively taking the background colour from the background image and integrating it into the alpha channel of the foreground keyed item. Okay, so we've got the two items. What we actually want to do is take the background element, which is this one called external, and duplicate it. Control Command D. Take the duplicate background layer and put it above your keyed item and rename it Light Wrap. Then we need to add some effects. The first one is Effect, Channel, Set Mat. And what we want to do with the Set Mat is make sure that the item that we want to have the Light Wrap applied to, which is the the puppet in this particular instance and we want to invert the mat and if you actually look at that layer I'm going to solo it so you can see it this is what we've actually created next thing I'm going to do is add a blur of some kind probably the best one is going to be something like Gaussian blur or a fast blur I'm going to add a fast blur so effect blur and sharpen fast blur and for safety's sake I always repeat the edge pixels because we might lose detail at the bottom if we don't and then we're going to take out the blurriness. The blurriness will determine how wide the light wrap actually is. If we take it out for, say, 10, 11 pixels at the moment, that should do the trick. And then what we need to do is add another copy of set mat underneath. So effect, channels, set mat. And again, make sure the layer is taken from the item that you want to have the light wrap applied to, which is again the puppet. And there is your light wrap all the way around the puppet. Obviously I've soloed the layer, so if I turn the layer off, now we have the light wrap applied around the puppet. If I turn off and on the light wrap, you can see the difference it's made. It's subtle, but it's real. Just gonna solo that layer again and show you that we are controlling the width of the light wrap by the depth of the blurriness. The more blur we have, the wider that light wrap is going to be. A Couple of other items that we can do to make it slightly better. We could, if we wanted, add a glow to the light wrap. You just need to be careful that you don't overdo it. And the second option might be to make the light wrap 3D. So you can click the 3D button, making it a 3D layer, and then you can add a light. Layer, new light. Give ourselves, say, a spotlight in this particular instance. It's nice and white. And click OK. And then the light is going to affect just our light wrap giving us the ability to be able to add light to one side or the other depending on where the light in the original image is coming from. And again, if I solo that layer with the light, you can actually see the difference that that's making to your light wrap. And so that's how you can create a simple light wrap, control its width and make it slightly more stylized in After Effects. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. <music>